Today you're going to learn how to make this side-by-side split-screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm using some stock footage of downtown Los Angeles, but this can be done with literally anything. So without further ado, let's get started. Cineguac. As you can see, we have two clips in our project. First, we have this drone shot of the LA skyline at sunset, and second, we have this sort of bird's eye shot of downtown. So let's start by dragging our first clip onto the timeline, and then drag the second clip onto the layer right above. And we can just trim the end right here so that they have the same duration. You'll notice the aspect ratio of these clips are slightly different, causing the bottom layer to sort of peek through on the sides here. We can easily fix this by just selecting our top layer and going to Effect Controls. Here we can increase the scale until the image takes up the entire screen. Right here we can also toggle the X and Y values. If we move the Y value back and forth, you'll see it slide the image up and down. And if we increase the X value a whole bunch, we can literally slide the entire top video layer over to the right until it looks good. Depending on your footage, this might be good enough, and we can call it a day. But just in case we want to show a different part of the frame, here's what we can do. Let's just go over here and hit this Reset Parameter button just to reset the position values back to default. And then go to Effects, and search for the Crop effect. Drag that onto your top clip. And with that selected, go to your Crop settings in the Effects Control Panel. Here you can crop any side of the clip. So if we increase the left side crop percentage to 50%, it'll crop your image in half starting from the left. We can just reset that and do the exact same thing on the right. If we want only the middle section of our clip to be visible in our final split screen effect, we can crop both the right and left sides however much we want, and then increase the X value to slide it over all the way to the right side of the screen. Lastly, you'll see the buildings in the background are blocked by our top layer. So all we have to do to reposition this is select our bottom layer, and then simply slide the X position all the way to the left until the buildings are perfectly visible. And that's pretty much it. Let's just play that all back, and we now have a side-by-side -side split screen effect. Just a little bonus tip, if you want to add a colorful line down the center, or even just a black border, just go to the pen tool, click and hold, and select the rectangle tool. With that, you can click and drag a rectangle, whatever size and thickness you want, and then with the selection tool, just click and drag it into the exact position so that it covers the area where the two images come together. We can drop down the shape options over here and change the fill color to anything we want. I'm just going through the classic Cineguac colors, green or purple, but you can pick any color you want. Lastly, just extend the duration of the shape graphic so it covers the duration of your video clips. Play it all back, and there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a super long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.